Uh, just looking at the film, what do you think of some of the young guys playing in the secondary this weekend? Um, you know, they came out and did a very good job. You know, they played fast, played physical, and I was very happy with them. You talked to some of them before the game, and what, what were they feeling? What was your advice? To them? You know, I told them, man, they have a great advantage. You know, my freshman year, I didn't get a chance to start, you know, in the game. So uh, just for them to, to come out and showcase their skills at a young age, they should just be happy and go out and, and have fun. Is it harder to face? Or is it harder to play the defense when you have so many guys rotating in and out, or is it better to get that kind of depth? I mean, it's, it's, it's great to have that type of depth. You know, like I said, the twos know the offense, the defense just as well as the one. So uh, we expect them to come in and know what to do. What kind of challenge does this defense face this week? A uh, very big challenge. You know, they have very great wideouts at Ole Miss. You know, they have very dominant offense. So uh, we face a big challenge this week. What do you remember about Bo Wallace from last year? This is a great physical runner and a thrower. So, uh, you know, he's a big guy to tackle. It seems this offense for Ole Miss seems to be a little different than Texas A&M, other than the tempo seems to be the same. Do you see any, I mean, what do you see as the biggest differences between what Ole Miss is trying to do and what Texas A&M did? Like I said, they, um, you know, they have Wallace. I mean, he's not done as hell, but he's a great runner. He's a great thrower. So uh, I, I say that's the only difference they have. You ever seen a player like Vinny's where he knocks the ball back on the quarterback and he catches it? <laughs> nah. <laughs> you guys been getting some grief about that? <laughs> Not for real. Nah. You take this week off from scoring touchdowns? What, what happened with him? Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he's a ball hawk. I mean, he's a great player. Well, did you, can you see the, the young DBs have got that chance? Obviously, that's what we're saying. Can you see him improving, getting more comfortable, confident? Oh, yeah. Each week they're going to get better. You know, they're young. We made a couple of mistakes, maybe. You know, we're going to watch the film a little bit and, and, and uh, read them from there. How much of a difference does Dion make? Uh, you know, we have great – our young guys are just as good as Dion. But Dion is an older guy. He's, he's a leader as well. So that's probably the only difference. Landon was saying when he was first getting playing time that the game happened so fast, but then he noticed it started slowing down. At what point did you notice the game started slowing down for you? Uh, you know, when I started getting more comfortable. You know, I was starting to relax. It started slowing down a lot. What have you seen from Landon, especially on special teams this year? <laughs> you see him. Man, he's, crazy, <laughs> he, he's a great player, great tackler. He gets down the field, he makes big plays. What's he been doing for the defense, though? Because he's, he's been on the field more and more, too. Oh, yeah, he's been breaking up passes, making open field tackles. He's been doing a great job communicating. I mean, Landon Collins is doing a great job for us. We really need him this year. The play where you had the tight end lined up and he didn't make the catch. Um, a year ago, would you have laid him out? <laughs> I mean, it happens, it happens. I mean, I, I really can't call it that. I'm, I'm just wondering if, like, the targeting thing was kind of in the back of your head on that one. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it kind of limits to how we play. You know, but at the same time, you can't go out there and half-stepping. You know, you have to let the rest make that call. One more question, if there is one. How much, how much has it helped you just to have seen the pace? I know you guys have been practicing that tempo all offseason, but since you've seen it on the field against the team recently, how much has that helped you? I mean, it helps a lot. I played against him last year. A very explosive offense. You know, I can kind of relax right now. And, uh, you know, just adjust to it and play a lot faster. All right. Thanks, Austin.